Saw the ex exceptional wide receiver who's in jet motion. They'll start on the ground with Johnson, who's tackled. Second and nine. Mertz, pressure coming after him as he is guys off the edge. So the ball's got to get out of his hands quickly. He never even saw it off the get go in Kentucky. Third and 15, Johnson with blockers in front. He turns the corner and Montrell jo Jackson. You see the left guard in the center getting up into the second level. Jackson's up top at the point. He just throws down a corner on the ground. Third and 18, Johnson again, and he's able to. Mertz, play action, gonna take a shot downfield, and unable. 77.8% completion percentage. All the short game. ETN, as he gets his way, a big Dion Walker. I and Graham Mertz on third and five. They drop eight, and that ball's intercepted. And on the return is Wallace inside the 50 pounds of him. He's one of the guys who actually drops out. Look at him right here in the middle of the field. He's in coverage, and he's one of the guys that gets oh. the hit. And pop. Ford only has 12 yards of offense. Mertz with time, and that's all. Johnson on the ground. Only about the small kind of throw to get the first down, their first first down of the day as Johnson's second and seven with Johnson flanking Mertz. And he's able to get it to him right away as pressure was coming from the right. It is third and very short. Johnson, and he will easily get the first. You that Graham Mertz is doing some things better in this offense to keep them on schedule. Play action, maybe a holding call there, and it doesn't matter. Six, 350. He's their best player up front. He's just too physical and too athletic, able to keep his back. And he's off to a sensational start this year. Mertz on second and 18, that is bad. And coordination, just being able to knock this thing down because this was a bullet coming right up top over the right. Good Kentucky has been consistently on defense. Third and 18. Weaver given pushback. Mertz has to scoot out, and he has no. Runs this way, he's going to follow. I think Brad White has done a really nice job early in this game, mixing up his third down looks. Again, the cat and mouse game. Touchdown, Jesse, where he just willed his way into the end zone. ETM trying to find something and finding nothing. As more that kept Kentucky on the field after they had punted away. And a 75-yard touchdown came next. Graham Mertz, as he tried to check. That same energy and execution. And now in a hole. ETN just clogged up after a yard. So during... Doing great, and they're off to another slow start here today. Here's ETN on the backfield. ETN, pierce all motions. ETN. Boy, they had that every... To get this guy... But he's held a little bit by the defensive tackle. He does a great job holding his point. That's just talk about, but man, the impact he's had. Mertz with time out of the backfield is Johnson, who can't. Horns the player who had the thriller against Colorado State to help tie that game late. Mertz, shallow cross. That is blown. Third and 12. Pressure picked up over the middle, and that ball much. There's going to be a window between three defenders that Mertz has to fit this thing into on time. Quick pitch, get it out, right on the face mask of his wide receiver to get a huge first down. Mertz, with time, going to take a shot. And what an effort. Another penalty up front you see just getting the hand up a little bit too much in the face of Keyshawn Silver the North Carolina transfer Mertz scanning and incomplete Mertz play action on second and 25 and he's going to tuck and run and get up Third and 16, three-man rush. Mertz with a man in his face gets it out to Pearsall. Pearsall made the first man miss and then made. They got flights on Friday night, Jess? <laughs> I think it's, it's first not, down. I don't think it's Friday night. Mertz.
able to keep it alive and get it. He's able to extend it and keep his eyes downfield here. Pressure coming off the right edge. Nobody blocking Derek Jackson. But he's able to find Pierce all production. It's got to go up. ETN catches a seam and Trevor e points here before halftime. Back to it with ETN. Second and five. Graham Mertz going to take a shot, lofts it downfield. Great effort. Seven and fourth down this year. Mertz gives it over to ETN. ETN with a blocker in front. And ETN. Hit it to Khalil Jackson was wide open right over the ball in the shallow cross. He doesn't see him. Somehow he's able to stay up on his feet with Trevin Wallace all over his body. Gets it to ETN. Mertz on first down. Wide open, Pearsall going in. Mertz quickly gets it away as he goes to the freshman, Gene. Pearsall in motion. Boy, that was an awkward snap as they just get it to Johnson. Third and two. Johnson straight ahead. Oh, he's. ETN that tackled Mertz to the outside as he gets it to Gene. And nice this thing. What a difference a few years makes as they go with the quarterback sneak on third and one. And so special. Quick game again. Gene is getting active in this second in SEC history to ever do that. Two pick sixes in one game. ETN, oh, he breaks free in a first. Mertz on first down. Oh, sacked. Micah Mazuka just can't get to him. There's a right tackle has a chance, the right guard has a chance, and he continues. And J.J. Weaver has persevered through quite a bit of turmoil and tribulations in his life. He's been a beacon of hope and strength for his team. Eat. They're going to run it with ETN. Mertz gets.